Hi, this is John from BetterDoneYourself.com. Today I'm making some sauerkraut. The process of sauerkraut is just like we've been looking at with some of my other videos. And that is to take a raw vegetable, cut it up into small pieces, submerge it in a salty brine, potentially inoculate it with some existing bacteria if you have such a thing, and then allowing it to ferment for a certain number of days. The most difficult step in making sauerkraut is just processing all the cabbage. It's just a matter of trying to cut up the cabbage in the most uniform manner possible, removing the bulk leaves, removing the hard center uh, stem core inside the cabbage, and then neatly slicing all of the, the leaves into, into strips. You'll just need to experiment to figure out the best way for you to cut up cabbage you can um, just use a board and a knife and cut it up. You can buy a mandolin in your favorite food gadget store or maybe on Amazon. I've got a link below here. This is an older Xylus mandolin that I've had for quite a while. I like the Xylus brand for mandolins. I've tried a lot of other mandolins. I've tried some expensive mandolins that just don't function as well as these ones from Xylus. Check the link below and, and have a look at the one I've picked out on Amazon. It looks like the more recent model of the one that I'm using here. Once you've got all your cabbage chopped up, the next step is to brine it and to crush it. Wanted, I'm just using my hands here and literally just punching the cabbage. It's a good way to take out your aggressions. But you want to break the cabbage up. What you're trying to do here is using the salt and your hands crush this cabbage and get the juices to start flowing out of the out of the cabbage and, and create the brine that that will keep your cabbage leaves submerged. If you have it to use as just as an insurance policy, you can add some pickle juice. Grab your favorite jar of pickles that you've got going. These are naturally fermented pickles that see my other pickle making video but give yourself a dose of good bacteria to get this sauerkraut off to a good start. Another thing you can use if you make your own yogurt is maybe half a cup of whey. If you like, you can add some shredded carrot. This is about four carrots that I peeled and, and grated that I bought at the farmer's market, so I know they're organic. There's no pesticides or anything bad that's going to hurt my, my crock here. Like any other ferment, you're going to have to keep this out of the air. You want to keep your anaerobic bacteria protected from the air. Any oxygen that hits this cabbage pot will cause rot, will cause molding, will cause off taste to occur. So you really want to make sure you've got a lots of brine that keeps the cabbage covered and then some kind of a weight. If you've got a, a round plate, I use a gallon size Ziploc bag full of more brine solution to keep my cabbage submerged. Every couple of days you're going to want to check your cabbage, see how things are going, see if it, the cabbage is starting to get slimy, how it smells. If you're feeling daring, you can have a taste. And you should find it crunchy, slightly salty, and starting to get sour. That's what we're going for. We're going to sour this crowd. We're going to hopefully ferment this in such a way that it'll build up lactic acid and give the cabbage a nice taste and help to preserve it as well. So this obviously is on going in the right direction. Actually tastes quite good. What we're going to want to do is just make sure you've got enough liquid in this crock. In my crock looks like there's been some evaporation or maybe the cabbage swelled a little bit. I'm just adding fresh water here. I don't want to add any more salt because I think I've got my saltiness right, but I do need enough water that I've got the level of the liquid above the cabbage leaves themselves and then my, my Ziploc bag, my big weight here to hold everything down below the surface of the water. I want to get this water right up above the bag a little bit. So I'll keep this covered up. I'll put this down in the basement and I'll let it go for another couple of weeks.